So over the last few weeks, I've been up to a few different projects, but I haven't finished any of them. So being a little bit busy and I haven't made a video in a while, I thought I would make a update video. So about one and a half weeks ago, or yeah, one and a half weeks ago, I went to Houston with one of my friends and picked up a Sun or two Sun Ultra 80s and um, these Ultra 80s are Ultra Spark systems and you can fit up to four Ultra Spark processors in there. So I got home and originally they wouldn't post at all but it turns out I was just a little bit impatient and the uh, EEP-ROM chips uh, have these little batteries in it so for the ERAM or NVRAM they have some weird sun name for it but pretty much the gist of it is the batteries in those die and then it takes forever to post so it goes into diagnostics and they have serial as the output so they don't actually post anything while you're waiting so that kind of sucked but I did eventually get it post and I then hacked up the uh, IDP-ROM I think that's what it's called and put in a new battery and I did get it post and then I changed the hardware configuration by putting all the CPUs of both systems into one and now neither of them post at all even with the original hardware configuration which was weird because I did try the two CPU thing again right after that and did post and all the CPUs are branded exactly the same kind of they have the same model numbers and stuff I, I assume they're the same you know megahertz or whatever and there are two different systems uh, I, I didn't get the second one to post at all so that one might just be messed up but they do um, I, they do have output over serial and my theory is I also upgraded the RAM so one of the RAM slots might be loose but it's kind of hard to tell exactly what it is without any error messages so I was uh, gonna wait till I finished my 380 XD project before continuing to work on those Sun systems. So I had a 380D and I bought a replacement screen for it because the original screen kind of uh, rotted due to old age. So I bought a 380XD as a part system and it turns out it completely worked. It was uh, just a CMOS battery here. So I just used the 380XD, I put in the battery from the 380D, they actually don't line up, you have to bend one pin on the uh, bottom of the 380XD for a 380D battery to fit in, but it works perfectly. And I was going to use that for uh, the serial modem. I mean, I probably could have used my T43, but I thought, I, I don't know, but I've had that 380D for a while and I haven't done anything with it, so I, I thought I'd get it running. So I did get it running. I um, had a, I also got a RAM stick for it, but it still only had 96 megabytes of RAM. So with only 96 megabytes of RAM, you're kind of limited on what you can run. So uh, I went with NetBSD due to ex extremely low RAM usage. But unfortunately, there's not a lot of binary packages for NetBSD. I mean, there's a few, but it's not a ton so most of the software I was compiling and the problem with compiling on NetBSD well there isn't much of a problem it's actually package source is I, I kinda like it it was a uh, really easy to use and unfortunately though it really ate into the swap file and how I was I was running an SSD on this 380XD how I was doing that is a mSATA to IDE adapter and I was using one of those uh, kind of like hard drive cache uh, SSDs that are like 16 gigabytes that go in mSATA slots. I've had this one since high school. Uh, I used to go into my uh, E430, which, uh, by the way, don't ever buy an E430 either. Hardware inside will work fine. Like the system completely works, but all the plastic and hinges are just cracked. To, and uh, anyways, not to go off on a tangent, um, I used the little MSATA drive, the 16 gigabyte MSATA drive. I've used it off and on through the years, and you know, uh, over the pretty much it's dead now. MSATA drive just up and gave up after three days of compiling software on uh, that BSD. 
rest in peace on Pisano Drive. But anyways though, uh, I also uh, originally tried to see if it was working with like a different operating system, so I tried Windows 2000 and got a disk read error as well. Um, I haven't had this issue before, previous times I installed Windows 2000 where I had to add uh, SATA drivers, but I, I did that too, and this time around was that still got the disk read error. So after I did all that, I kind of um, decided to give up on making the NetVSD video because I... Uh, don't really have an operating system on there. And, you know, I might, their 380D or 380XD is probably going to be in another video later. Just, so I did buy some other upgrade parts. I bought a 400 megahertz uh, processor for it. Or they, they're uh, MMC1, so they're socketed. So it has a 233 megahertz Pentium 2, but you can fit up to, I think, like a 433 megahertz one. So, I should be doing that later, and um, my uh, null modem cable should be coming in in a few days, so I can probably try to work on the Ultra Sparks instead. Also, I bought a bunch of adapters, but they're kind of the wrong adapters, like uh, for any of these. So I still have to reorder stuff if I want to use like a SSD on the 380XD. I, I really like having SSDs and everything, or uh, at least compact flashcards. So, anyways, um, I guess that is the uh, update on my stuff. Um, or, hmm, I end the video.